strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. The elite have got together with their top scholars in their think tanks and they know these prophecies to a T. They didn't study this book back and forth. They understand all the breakdowns and prophecies. So in order to prevent these things, they have to suppress history and rewrite history and flood the media outlets with all types of Utah material like rap music, Atlanta Housewives, and other reality TV nonsense to keep your mind occupied on entertainment and diverted from anything with any significance. And the success rate of that to black people is extremely high. The black man won't pick up a book if his life depended on it. The, a book is kryptonite to the black man. It's like spraying raid on a roach. They say if you want to hide anything from a black man, you put it in a book. But despite these efforts of trying to offset prophecy, there's Israelites waking up all over the world by the thousands coming up out of sleep and getting rid of these Gentile gods and coming back to the Most High God, the Creator of heaven and earth, and keeping their end of the bargain. For the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king and without a prince and without a sacrifice and without an image and without an ephod and without a terebim. Afterward shall the children of Israel return and seek the Lord their God and David their king and shall fear the Lord and his goodness in the latter days. The kingdom of heaven rulership, the governing body is being set up right now in the midst of everyone and nobody even knows it. While America is on an economic decline, God is raising up the ruling government of the kingdom of heaven. He says, even though the children of Israel are as the sand of the sea, only a small remnant are going to be saved from his wrath. Isaiah also cried concerning Israel. Though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. Because the majority of you Israelites are going to be too caught up and bugged out of your mind and caught up in the world and caught up in Christianity to even give the creator a, a thought. And he was praising Christ, but now he's down in Christianity. He know we ain't supposed to be following no Christ. The creator only. Hey, hey, only. He says, if you didn't learn this time from all the captivities you've been under, if you didn't learn from getting your backs whipped, if you didn't learn from being hanged, if you didn't learn from having your sons and daughters sold, he says, I'm not bringing you into captivity no more after America. This is the last captivity. He has another plan for you. You got another punishment coming. It's called the lake of fire. But the fearful, 